Morning folks, this is Duncan from overlandrider.com and this is going to be a quick walk around and review of the Hammer LED uh, Flex 4 indicators, turn signals. I suspect many of you will have heard about these. Um, been on the market for a short while right now. They were quite a long time coming because they had to get the CE certification, which is not easy. Um, but finally they've come to the market. I received mine a few weeks ago, so I've been using them now for a few weeks. And um, let me tell you, these things are good. I really do rate them. So let me just get close up and dirty with this one here. And you can see just exactly how these flex, and they'll flex right back on themselves. And then as soon as you, you drop them, let them go, they flick straight back into place. One thing you'll notice, and you can probably see this better than you will on the pictures of the part one of the review, but the shrouding around these is extremely thick, much thicker than I was expecting. I'd say that's probably about two and a half mil, something like that. I was thinking these was gonna be about half a mil or something, but um, no, they've really gone to work. They've over-engineered these things, and I think they look absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see what you're paying for. I mean, these are 230 odd quid, and I guess you'd have to pay import tax on that. So, I mean, you could be up as close to 300 quid by the time they've shipped and, and uh, the taxes are paid on them. Um, and you'll have to decide whether they're worth that. But from a quality standpoint, I can certainly see why they're expensive. You know, these have been put together properly. And when you look from a, a distance at them, there you can. They really just blend in. You can barely see them. They've got to be the best looking um, indicators on the market that I know of, at least. And there's quite a few options out there, but I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. So let's go around the back and take a look at them. Um, I've also installed a tail tidy at the same time because it is a bit of a faff installing these on the Tenere. You've got to rip off the rear of the bike uh, apart to get to all the wiring, but. Uh, there they sit at the back so there's the rear ones that's it there and again same system and i've got to be honest on my bike because i've got these pannier racks on there if my bike goes down those are not even actually going to touch the ground and if you look at the front indicators Again, if you've got a, a crash bar like this one, um, you'd be very unlucky, I would say, for those to even come in contact with the ground because they're so far in compared to the, the OEM ones. They stick out from this point here. So that's the plastic fairing. Then you can see you've got a couple of spaces which you put in there um, just to get the angle right. And then you've got the the indicator turn signal itself. So from that point there, from the plastic casing out to the tip of the indicator, that's 70 millimeter. From this point uh, here, I think from there to there was 45 mil. Yeah, from here to here is 45. So the shroud is 45 mil and the height here is two and a half, is 25 mil, two and a half centimeters. So these don't stick out a lot at all, and they really do tend to just blend into the bike. So the front ones, if you've got upper crash bars, I can't see them ever coming in contact with the ground. You'd have to be fairly unlucky. You'd have to have kind of a, a boulder sticking out here that, that whacked on them. But otherwise, they sit pretty much just in line, about in line with the, with the crash bar. So let's have a look at turning them on. Are they bright enough, do we think? All right, let's plonk one on. Well, take a look for yourself. Those are as bright as hell. Brightest I've seen. Look round from the back. So again, these are extremely small, but they are very, very bright. Let's see if we can just uh, pop them all on at the same time. So there they are in hazard form. 
This is a bright sunny day. Have a look around. We're on a really bright sunny day here. I'm parked at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight, Queen Victoria's old residence. So this is as bright, you know, as it's going to get. I know I'm parked with a little bit of shade on the trees here, but believe me, um, I've been out on rides. I've asked other riders about them. And even in the brightest of sunshine, these things show up really, really well. No one's going to miss those. So that's pretty much all you can really say. I mean, they're a set of turn signals. They, um, they work brilliantly. The quality is probably as high as you're ever gonna find. Um, I can't imagine anything they could do to make these um, of a higher grade than they already are. They've gone to work, they've over-engineered the hell out of these things and I love that, I think that's brilliant. Um, uh, they are sitting on the, the tail tidy. Just trying to give you a good idea from all angles but like i said they're brilliant i absolutely love my set they'll be staying on the overland ride tenere 700 for the duration of its life no doubt about that whatsoever if you're considering these if you can afford them and um, your wallet can stand the pain of the the cost of them i couldn't recommend them highly enough they're absolutely brilliant so this is Duncan from overlandrider.com. Thanks for watching.